Yo, 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 what up my YouTube family? It's your favorite fellow earthling, Austin Hustler Hires, back with another video. And in today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about dumpster rentals. The best side hustle in 2021, dumpster rentals, guys. In my opinion, you can make a lot of money with dumpster rentals if you do it the right way. I'm about to go out in the field, rent a couple of dumpsters out, do a couple of pickups, and this beautiful young lady right here, Kelsey Hope Hire, she's gonna help me deliver a dumpster today so we can get it done just a little bit faster. What do you think about dumpster rental, babe? Oh, it's exciting. I have to hook up the truck to the trailer first and then pick up a container to deliver it. And does it make us enough money to survive? Yes, sir. And does it make us enough money to have extra money? Yes, sir. It sure does. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna go ahead and show you all about it. It's a bit loud. It's pretty big, but it's also amazing. This is my Freightliner here, guys, that I use to deliver my dumpsters. And that back there behind me, if you can see right there, that's also a dump trailer that we use to deliver dumpsters. My wife's gonna hop in the GMC, hook up to that, go deliver a dumpster, which is that pink one back there. We own seven dumpsters and two trucks to get this done. So this is a little more than a side hustle for us, but you can start out small and make a lot of money. Let's go ahead and get started with the day. All right, we're headed to drop off our first dumpster today and to track my clients and figure out where I'm going, I'm using the WorkEase software home pro service app. Uh, I got a link down below if you guys wanna check it out for yourselves. You get 14 days for free with my link, plus you get a 25% discount for the first three months if you click on that link and you end up going with them. The best thing about dumpster rental, guys, is you don't have to have two guys. You can do it all by yourself, solo dolo. So I'm headed out right now all by myself to go make a good amount of money for the day by dropping off a container in someone's driveway. Let's go. Your destination is on the right. We are right there, that blue house. We're gonna go ahead and drop it in the driveway. It took me about 40 minutes to get here. It's gonna take me about 10 minutes to roll it off. The customer is paying $350. Actually, they've already paid through the Workies app. The link is down below if you want to check that out. But they've already paid for the dumpster. They've requested that I drop the dumpster in the driveway as close to the garage as possible, but with still enough room to open the doors. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to get this dumpster dropped off. It's a 16 cubic yard dumpster for $350, and it's going to be about a 10 minute drop off. Let's go. Sometimes it rains and sometimes it pours and uh, right now it's raining and pouring <laughs> off and on. I just dumpster, uh, I just dropped the dumpster off back there guys and my dumpsters, one suggestion to you if you have more than one dumpster go ahead and give your dumpster a name or a number so that way when you drop it off you can mark which one you dropped off at what address. And what helps me is using WorkEase. I go ahead and I use their tags. I go into the tags and it has all the names of all my dumpsters right there. Okay, so this dumpster in particular, it, the name is Kanzo. I mark Kanzo off for this address. And then I know which one is at which address so I can track all of my dumpsters. I have seven dumpsters right now, guys. We're on our way to 10 dumpsters. Right now it's only 8.34 and I left the office around 7.30 this morning. So within an hour, we've already made $750 today with just dumpster rental. And we're back at the office. And as you can see, my pink dumpster is still here. Sometimes when you run a business and people rent dumpsters, it's hard to find their address. And this happened today to my wife when she went to drop off this dumpster this morning. Long story short, she showed up to the place that the GPS took her to and it was not the address that the guy provided us. 
She drove around for about 20, 25 minutes to actually try to find the address and the customer never answered the phone, never answered any text messages. So what happened was we took it back to the office. The customer has already paid for this dumpster so I don't see any reason why he won't give us a call eventually, but we couldn't drop that dumpster off. So anyways, we still made the 400 for that dumpster and the 350 for the dumpster that I dropped off. So that's 750 for the day for dumpsters. But our day is not over yet. I'm on my way to go pick up a dumpster and then we're gonna dump this and I'm gonna show you how much it cost me to dump the contents of the container on average for per dumpster. We dump our containers per weight. So if it's heavier, it costs a little more. If it's lighter, it costs a little bit less. I'm gonna give you about an average of how much it costs to dump each dumpster. And then I'm gonna give you the profits we make off of each dumpster. And then I'm gonna give you the average amount of dumpsters we rent out per week. So stay tuned guys, you're gonna learn a lot of stuff. Make sure you hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Lots of great content and side hustles on this channel to earn extra money in the everyday life. Let's go. I started my dumpster rental business about uh, two years ago and I ended up buying that dump trailer that I showed you earlier with five roll off dumpsters that came with it. I financed my dump trailer and I financed all five containers. It was about 35,000 total, and I pay about $700 a month. Now you can see today, in one day, we've made $750 off of two dumpsters, which as you can tell, is totally worth it. I bought my dumpsters from Texas Pride, which is a good dumpster company. Uh, they make a good solid dumpster, and they make a good solid trailer with wireless remotes and a push button tarp. So everything's super easy with them. I decided to go with Texas Pride over something like U-Dump because U-Dump makes a cheaper, uh, less durable dumpster. So I decided to pay just a little bit more money for Texas Pride, which I believe to be a better brand. But don't just take my word for it. Make sure you guys shop around and check out what's best for you. There are other companies out there as well. So just look around on the internet and find the best option for you and your pockets. When you're just getting started in the dumpster rental business, make sure you look around and see what other people are charging for dumpsters in your area. And make sure you always charge at least close to what they are charging. Meaning you wanna make sure that you're getting paid around the same amount as they are. Make sure you charge enough so that you can make some profit but not so much that someone's not gonna use you in your dumpsters to do the job. In our area, we are charging higher than everybody else and we're still selling dumpsters. So if you're charging 250 and you feel like that's too little, or you're not making enough profits, you can easily charge 275 and your customer is still gonna be willing to pay that because $25 is really not that much of a difference. So we're on the way to do our first dumpster pickup and while we're on the way, I figured I'd talk to you about basically how much we make per month on dumpster rental. And I would say the best way to go about this is we rent out um, maybe, maybe uh, 25 to 30 dumpsters a month, right? We own seven different dumpsters, 12 yards, 16 yards, and 18 yards to give our customers a variety of sizes and prices. We rent them out for about five days and, uh, and less. So our price comes with a standard five day rental. If they get it done and they fill it up before the five days, they can give us a call, we'll go out and pick it up. Um, if you do an average of say $300 per dumpster times 25 is $7,500. So every month about $7,500 in gross income for the dumpster rentals. I would say an average per dumpster is about, to dump it is about um, between 30 and 40, let's say $35 on average to dump our dumpsters. And that is about uh, $27.50 per um, 2,000 pounds per ton. So let's say 25 dumpsters times $35 is $875. So if you take 7,500 minus 875 I think I said 
that equals six hundred and twenty five dollars and then you can go ahead and minus like another I would say another let's just give it a high number another six hundred dollars minus another six hundred dollars for your fuel costs and that equals six thousand twenty five dollars of net profit so that just gives you guys a rough estimate a rough idea of how much money you can make doing dumpster rentals on the side our 12 yards cost three hundred dollars our 16 yards cost three hundred and fifty dollars and our 18 yards cost four hundred dollars those are the prices and that's why I do the average at our of three hundred dollars that's the least amount we charge for a dumpster make sure to check out what prices your landfill is charging you to dump these containers whether it's per container or per ton that's usually how they're gonna do it make sure to do all that research before you get into the dumpster rental business and just find out all the regulations of your city and town because in some areas they only allow like um, waste management drop-off or like waste management is a really big company so they will only allow those dumpsters in certain areas on construction sites or at houses and neighborhoods so just make sure you do all that research of what the regulations are in your area before you get started in this business so here's the house we're picking up from there's our dumpster right there all right so she's gonna go ahead and back up my wife is a pretty good backer upper. She was taught by the best, yours truly. Let's go check out how the next one looks. That's good, man. Yeah. Looks perfect. So that was the ideal pickup guys it wasn't over the top it was completely flat as you can see we got it picked up very smoothly no issues at all uh, the weight seems to be all right because the trailer um, the tra trailer tires look good the trailer suspension looks good it didn't bring the truck down too much um, also speaking of trucks if you guys do get one of these roll-off trailers I suggest you get a 25 or 3500 um, you know Ford Chevy Dodge no matter what um, get a 2500 or 3500 or 250 350 if you're getting a Ford also uh, make sure you get a diesel it's just a lot easier a lot better no. so there you have it we got our dumpster picked up we're headed to the landfill to dump it I'll let you know how much the dump fees are when we get there I'm gonna guess I'm gonna make a guess right now the dump fees are gonna be about around 35 to 40 dollars for this dumpster and uh, we're gonna find out here soon so stay tuned the landfill we usually go to is like an hour away and there's another landfill that's about 20 minutes away it's probably gonna be double the price to dump there but it's gonna be a lot more convenient for us um, being as we're in the town that we're gonna do the shed removal so we're gonna go ahead and pay a little bit more money to dump this container today so that we have an efficient uh, turnaround so we don't have to drive an hour to the landfill dump it and then drive an hour back to do our junk removal in this case we're only gonna drive 20 minutes to the landfill 
get charged double and then we're only going to uh, drive another 20 minutes back to the job so that's what we decided to do today so the price i give you is not our typical average price so just keep that in mind Okay, like I said, guys, this is uh, not our normal fee for dumping. Uh, it's about double. It was $83.85 to dump at this landfill here. So now we're headed to do an estimate for a shed demo. If they agree on the price, we're going to go ahead and get it done right then and there. So it's that time of day where I'm getting kind of hungry. So let's go get some food. And there it is. That was quick. Let's get on with the job. So guess what, guys? We sold it. Sold the job for guess how much? Put your guess down below. I'll tell you in one second. All right, one. We sold the job for 850 bucks. We originally estimated 1,000 bucks to get the job done, uh, but they had somebody else that estimated 850 bucks, so we went ahead and matched that, being the great company that we are. Here's the shed right here. Not too bad. Should be able to knock this out in under an hour. We'll find out here soon. Make sure to stay tuned, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, so this message is for Richard, Brandon, Joey, Whoever the hell decided that this was a good way to wrap up the cord, I, I, I took it out the way you're supposed to. Like, look at what it does. It twists this thing up. It's just twisted up throughout the whole fucking cord. And it keeps nodding up. And I've been doing this for about 10 minutes now. And we're trying to take down a shed. And it's pissing me off right now. Just wrap it up the normal way. Just wrap it up the normal way, guys. This is ridiculous.
What's up guys I'm sweaty I'm hot and I'm ready to go but before I do I wanted to show you the finished product of the shed boom the shed was right there guys it took us about an hour and five minutes and if you want to see the full shed breakdown I did a live stream on YouTube so after you're done watching this full video you can watch that live stream it shows the full complete breakdown of me basically doing the shed by myself my wife helped out a little bit and uh, did the you know she did the camera thing so anyways guys that's it that's it that's it $850 for that we made $750 from the dumpster rentals so we are well over a thousand dollars today I'll put the total amount right here on screen that's how much we made today gross and uh, you know just taking into account um, probably about a hundred dollars in dump fees and fuel and uh, we're gonna finish getting wrapped up because as you can tell if you can hear the thunder it's about to rain right now we got to get out of here get it wrapped up before you leave this video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe down below if you haven't already it's a great channel to learn some epic hustle ethics and ways to make side hustle money this is Austin Hustle Hires and we'll see you next time